This is Worth Avenue in Palm Beach, Florida. Like Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and Fifth Avenue in New York, it's an area that caters to the wealthiest and most powerful people in the world. The old cliche, if you have to ask how much it costs, you can't afford it, certainly applies here. And the patrons who frequent these exclusive shops and merchants rarely ask that question. Price usually doesn't concern them. Quality does. And that's why the portrait studio of Dieter Kuhn has been so successful. Kuhn creates striking one-of-a-kind portraits with a system of his own design centered around a 500-pound view camera. Why not in this time, nearly 140 years after photography was invented by Louis Daguerre, why not being able to do what he did? A positive in the first place. What he did was a silver plate, the famous daguerreotype. And nobody else is doing it now. Why not? When we need one portrait, it's not necessary to have a negative just to make thousands of prints. We don't want to have many prints. We want to have a perfect original, like a painter would do it. But he would work for maybe five or 10 sittings, many, many hours, and using also the time of the model. And that's very hard with business people. But business people do come in for the Kern treatment, which includes a quick touch-up to hide any minor cosmetic imperfections. Even other photographers, such as Gordon Parks and Helmut Newton, have come to Kern for portraits. His secret? Instead of film, Kern uses a sheet of Ektacolor reversal paper in his camera. The paper is designed for making prints from color slides, but it had one seemingly insurmountable drawback. The main problem was that this paper had five to seven ASA. So it was nearly impossible to use it in a camera without having a very, very different, very special light source. For a portrait, you cannot nail your customer for two minutes or maybe 20 minutes uh, not to move. It had to be a strobe flash. The problem was a strobe flash is daylight. The paper was made for tungsten light, artificial light. So I had to cut half of the power out of the daylight to get the right quality for my paper. So I asked many, many experts all over the world for help, and they all said the same. The idea is great, but you will not have any chance to use it. After five years of trying, Kern was able to purchase a lighting system that gave him sufficient illumination for his portraiture, a system that produces 30,000 watt seconds of light. But even with this huge amount of power, he still found himself working with a depth of field of only one inch. The solution to this problem is a beam of focused light provided by an off-camera slide projector. As long as the subject's eyes remain in this beam of light, Kern knows the face is in focus. The size of the camera prevents Kern from making any fine focusing adjustments once the sensitized paper is in place. In fact, the camera, which was originally a reproduction camera, is so large it wouldn't fit the dimensions of the studio space. Kern added a right angle prism to the front of the lens, which gives him enough room to maneuver the subject in front of the camera. When he's ready, he'll usually shoot several exposures and then process them while the customer waits. Although his technique may seem cumbersome, it is actually a very simple process. It effectively combines very old technology with the latest trends in photography to produce an image of striking depth and quality, an image that is at once photographically sharp and yet soft and almost painterly. The image also reflects his philosophy of portraiture. Get rid of everything that is not important to tell the story. And uh, that means also uh, to get to the essence of photography, which is not making the detour over a negative, having the possibility of thousands of copies. We want only one piece, and that should be perfect. And we should not waste any time in the color lab, but the whole work has to be done in front of the lens, and when I do the shot, it takes sometimes an hour before I press the trigger the first time. And then nearly all of the work is done. What we do later is small adjustments together with our customer here. It's a very important part of the crew. It's teamwork. 
I'm not a dictator and my customer is never a victim. Fifteen minutes later, the prints are ready for inspection. These are not proofs, but finished portraits. If the subject approves, the session is over. If not, Kern will shoot again and continue until the subject is pleased with the results. Most of our customers are saying, since 40 years, I have avoided to stand in front of a camera because it's not worth it. It always turns out terrible. So I said, okay, this is very normal. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> And one hour later, he is changing his mind.